Well, while brick and mortar schools in the Bay Area still plan to open in a few weeks, parents need to be ready to go back to e-learning just in case. And those parents who decided on virtual school need to know how to set up their kids for success. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean talked to the Dean of Education at the University of Phoenix, a pioneer in online learning to get some helpful tips to have a successful school year remotely, Jenny. Good morning, Caitlin. You know, we first need to recognize our skills as parents. You know, we were our child's first teacher. We taught them critical life skills. So while AP calculus may be way over our heads, well, we still know when our kid needs help and we should know where to find it. Being forced into virtual learning was a shock to the system for many parents, students, and teachers. But now, many have a choice, and they've had time to prepare for online learning. Pamela Rogeman from the University of Phoenix has three big tips for parents. First, plan for coverage, especially if you're going back to work. But you make sure that you have a plan to not only have kid coverage, but also to make sure that you have a plan to be that guide on the side for your child. Meaning you're ready to help them or get them the help they need. Second, kids need a space and a place to work. We all know that, you know, our kids' bedrooms are rarely where they do their homework. They do their homework at the kitchen counter. Or they do their homework at the kitchen table. You know, a lot of learning happens in the kitchen, but is that sustainable? Find a neutral space to set up a desk or table and make sure kids have the technology and tools they need. Third, manage your expectations. Not all kids thrive in the virtual environment, so it'll take a little extra work on the part of the parent to keep them on track. We parents need to make sure that we are committed to holding ourselves accountable to making sure that we partner with our kids, we stay up to date on what they're supposed to be doing, we communicate with the teacher for any kind of needs that we have. So as parents make this dis difficult decision about whether to do e-learning or in-school learning, Pam just said she hopes that by the time we get to the other side of this pandemic, that we get to see what it did for public education and not what it did to public education. So many lessons still to be learned, Caitlin.